We're moving uh, to uh, Iraq and Kurdistan, more uh, precisely to the village named El Kosh, uh, situated a few dozen kilometers from Mosul, one of the jihadist bastions. In the village is an abandoned synagogue, deserted but well conserved. Why? Mael Ben Uliel was there and understood exactly. El Kosh, a village in northern Iraq, a Kurdish village threatened by the Islamic State organization, like so many others in this area. Mosul, the terrorist group's main stronghold, is only a few kilometers away. A millennium-old village now inhabited by Christian Kurds. 15,000 of El Kosh's inhabitants are fervent Christians. In every street, a church or a monastery. And yet, in the middle of this small village, a synagogue, and not just any synagogue. Come on. This man is the tomb's keeper. When the state of Israel was created in 1948 and the Jews were forced to flee the area, Nazir Salam Sadje and his family were chosen by the only Jewish family living in the village to guard the place before they too had to leave the area. The Jews left the area in 1948. A Jewish family used to live in this house. Moshe, the father, his wife, Saadia, and their children, Maurice, Naji, Malka, and Sarah. My father knew them well. It is me who takes care of the tomb. I take care of this blanket. I wash it and then dry it before putting it back on the tomb, just like this. Nazir, his wife, and their children live only a few meters away. Before him, his father was in charge of guarding the place. After him, one of his children will take the helm. We do it for the love of God. It is a blessing, a divine reward. Nahum is the seventh of the 12 biblical prophets, an enigmatic figure said to have written part of the Old Testament. Jews from all around the world would come to pray here. They would celebrate the holidays, dance, eat. They would rent the same houses every year for the holidays. Every year. Kurdish Jews like this man who preferred to remain anonymous. Just like him, there is still a tiny minority of Jews who decided to stay after 1948. From time to time, Nazir gets a visit from this Israeli passport holder. And according to the Kurdish tradition, he opens the doors of the synagogue to this visitor and to anyone else who would want to visit it. Muslims come here, Kurds too, no matter the religion, whether they are Jewish or not. Anyone can come on a pilgrimage to the tomb and speak from the heart. When it comes to the IS presence in the area, this Kurdish man, holder of an Israeli passport, is rather optimistic. IS hasn't managed to get here and will never succeed, never. There is nothing they can do against the Kurds. Yet only a few months ago, fighters from the Islamic State almost took control of the village. Then, although a great number of the village's inhabitants decided to flee, Nazir remained and still remains to guard the tomb.